Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tech Tuesday. Today we're going to be going over using Libby with your tablet or smartphone. So the first thing that we need to do to use Libby is to download the Libby app. So we're going to go ahead and find the App Store icon right here. If you're on an Android device, it's going to be the Play Store instead. And go into App Store. From there, we're just going to tap in the search bar, and we're going to put in Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, and hit search. Okay, so you can see Libby popped up right here. Um, if you haven't downloaded Libby before, it'll have a get button next to it, like you can see with the OverDrive app and the Amazon Kindle app. Uh, however, I have downloaded Libby on this device before, so it just has the re-download icon. But basically, functionally, it's the same. All I have to do is tap on it, in this case, the cloud with the little down arrow, and it will download the app to my device. And then once it's done, it'll show open like it just did. So just tap on open, and it'll bring me into the Libby app. So first off, I, say, I answer the question, do I have a library card with yes? Then uh, you can choose uh, between these different things, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show I'll search for my library, the middle choice. Tap on that. And then just enter Westmont. If I could spell, that would help. And then you see it'll bring up Media on Demand, Westmont Public Library with our address, and just tap on that. Now, uh, I, for the question, where do you use your library card, I'm just going to tap on Westmont Public Library, tap in the card number field there, and enter my card number. Then once I enter that, it's going to ask what my PIN number is, so I just tap in that field. It'll automatically uh, default to it, so you can just start entering the number right away. Uh, but I just wanted to scroll down so you could see more easily what that field was. If you don't know what your PIN number for your card is, uh, just go ahead and call us at 630-869-6150, and then we can reset your PIN number for you very easily. Okay, and I'm not going to be using a Kindle device, so I'm going to hit skip here, but if you are trying to get this onto to eventually get the books that you check out onto a Kindle, you'll probably want to say, yes, I read with Kindle. And then from here, we're in, and we can start browsing various ways and find stuff that we might want to check out. So there's three main ways, uh, well, really two in a sort of a supplemental way, to find stuff, to find items to read. First, you see the little magnifying glass in the uh, lower middle center. So middle of the page, the little magnifying glass here, and just tap on it. That brings up search, so I can search by title for something. So if I just type in something, you see it makes suggestions as I'm typing. So I can just tap on one of those and it'll bring up that particular item, and you see that uh, by each uh, thing that came up, there's a little borrow button, there's a read sample button, there's tag button. Uh, also worth noting that the first two look similar, but they're different formats. The first one is a book, the second one is an audiobook. You can tell by the little earbuds and the running time at the, below the, the, uh, the cover image. So we're gonna go back, and we will just go back generally. Okay, then you can also just generally browse if you're not sure uh, if there's not a specific title you're looking for. So you see where it says just added, popular, random, available now, subjects. I can tap on one of those uh, and it'll start showing me a subset of the collection. I'm going to tap on available now, uh, which brings up a good point. Um, so Libby and OverDrive generally use digital copies. That means that if somebody else has an item checked out, and that's the only digital copy of it, like with a physical copy of a book, it's not available until they return it. So all the stuff that's available on Libby is not available all the time. It changes depending on what people have checked out or not checked out. You can also place holds on items that are out currently that you want to read when they become available. So you can see we have a list now of everything that's available, and it has ebooks, it has magazines, it has e-audiobooks, it's got everything. 
So if I want to narrow that down to just books, say, you see where up at the top it says listing 41,490 books and 8,055 audiobooks and so on and so forth. If I tap on where it says 41,490 books, it'll narrow it down to just books. Now say, okay, that, you know, that's great, but it doesn't narrow it down that much. Well, we can narrow it down further by clicking on the refine in the middle right of the page and then subject. And now I can narrow it down to fiction or romance or nonfiction or mystery or so on and so forth. So we'll do uh, fantasy, say. And now we have books that are fantasy books that are available right now. So I can scroll down, I can browse these, and if there's something in particular that strikes my eye that I want to check out, uh, I can just click on borrow next to it. Also, and this applies for the search as well, if I want more information about a particular title, I can just tap on the cover and it'll bring me into the, the page just for that. You can see more information about it. You can also see things that are kind of associated with it. And it gives you more detailed tags over here. So I can just click, if I wanted to just go back to just fantasy or just romance or just literature, I can click on those particular tags to look at them. So if I decide that I want this one, again, from here, all I have to do is tap on borrow. And then I just tap borrow again here. And now it's checked out and you can see from the little progress bar that it is now downloading to my device. So once it's finished downloading, I don't need to stay where I have internet. I can take the device somewhere that doesn't have Wi-Fi, whatever, and I can still read this item. So we're gonna say not now for notifications, and then open book, and we'll just say Libby this app. And now I can just swipe to turn pages and start reading. So you see if I go back, and this is just my shelf, uh, which is the little, um, <coughs> the little books on a shelf icon in the lower left corner next to the little Libby icon. So that's, I can go here to just go back to browsing, or I can click on those books again to see what I have checked out currently. So you are limited to a certain number of titles that you can have at one time on Libby but there's no overall limit. You just need to return stuff first before uh, you can check out new stuff if you are up against the limit. So if I'm done with something early, I can just go to manage loan here, and then I can return early by pressing return early here, and then return. If I don't do that, then it stays on my device for the full loan period, but then it automatically returns itself. You do not need to worry about returning it. You just can if you want to make room for something else. Okay, and the, the third option, there's quasi option that I just wanted to mention, is if you just scroll down the, the front page here, you'll see librarian lists that uh, OverDrive uh, has cultivated. So you can just see stuff that's available that they're recommending, or stuff not necessarily that's available right away. Some of this stuff is not going to be. So you see for an echo in the bone here, where it says place hold instead of borrow, that means that it's not available currently. That's how you know. Okay, uh, that's about it for this episode of Tech Tuesday. If you like this video, please check out other videos on this playlist and our on our YouTube video or our YouTube channel rather generally. And have a nice day.